my dear lovely students hope you all are doing well warm greetings to you all now moving on to the topic before the topic i have a quick question to you have you all ever visited to a park or a playground i know the answer is yes we all have went to playgrounds or parks what are the things we observe in a park or a playground yes there is many trees many flowers different people benches and many more are all the trees we are observing look similar no yes they don't look similar some are different in size some are different in shape some have some plants have different plants color right class so yes i welcome you all to the world of plants now plants are classified into basically five types the very first type is herbs shrubs trees creepers and climbers so yes are you all excited yes we are moving on to our very first classification that is herbs what are herbs herbs are those plants which are green they have very weak soft and tender stem for example some of the examples you are seeing here wheat and grass moving on to the second classification of plant that is shrubs now what is the difference between herbs and shrubs shrubs are a little longer than the herbs they are small sized plant with a thick woody stem for example lemon and roses moving on to the very third classification of plants class that is trees very right what are trees trees are very long they have thick woody stem and their branches are in the upper part of the stem then two shrubs have branches yes shrubs have also branches and they arise from the base of the plant yes class moving on to the fourth classification of plant that is creepers right what are creepers they are the plants which have weak stem and they cannot stand upright then what is the difference between creepers and climbers creepers spread on the ground right for example class watermelon pumpkin and what is the difference between then creepers and climbers climbers are those plants which climb they take the support of neighboring structures and we all have seen a climber in our homes that is yes class money plant moving these are different kinds of plant the very first is herbs shrubs trees climbers and creepers now we are moving on to the parts of the plant the very first part is stem what are the functions of stem yes it holds the plant upright it conducts water and minerals to the different parts of the plant and there are many more functions of stem we all have seen the stem in the plants class yes now moving on to the next part of the plant that is i am giving you a hint yes that is a leaf what is a leaf a leaf is a thin flat and broad structure of the plant now if i say leaf what are the different parts of the leaf yes students we have different parts of the leaf the very first is lamina what is lamina yes lamina is the thin broad surface which we are seeing this all is lamina if i see different types of leaf this is also a leaf students and it has also lamina now moving on to the next part of the plant the next part of the leaf that is midrib what is the midrib we are getting from the name the middle line right moving on to the third part of the leaf that is petiole what is petiole class the point where it connects to the stem stem of the plant the point of the attachment between the leaf and the stem of the plant is known as petiole and what are veins 
we can see veins in a leaf right these are the veins which are arising from the midrib right class yes so these are veins right now when we talk about veins there is a term associated with the vein that is venation right students what is venation the design made by veins in a leaf is called venation now venation are of two types the first is reticulate venation and the second is parallel venation now what is the difference between parallel venation and reticulate venation we all can identify veins in a leaf yes these are the lines which are arising from the midrib these are known as veins class right we all can detect veins so when the veins are arranged in a net like structure then it is known as reticulate venation right and when the veins are run parallel to each other along parallel each other you can see in this leaf right so this is known as this type of venation is known as parallel venation yes class and if you are students if you are not able to identify what type of venation is this here is an activity for you you can take a sheet of paper right you can take a sheet of paper and you can trace these leaves just like this we can trace i have traced it for you we can trace it right now i am taking the another leaf and i am also tracing it i have already traced it for you before while tracing students we can see the result i am able to easily identify in this leaf my veins are arranged in a net like structure so this is showing which type of venation class reticulate venation absolutely right and my veins here are arranged in parallel way they are running parallel along with each other so what is this type of venation yes students this is parallel venation very nice students now i am moving on to the different parts of the plant but we will not study functions today we will all be only be covering the venation so what are the different parts of the plant flowers roots branches right so this is our topic today thank you so much class